Hello peeps, Drogadeo. Welcome back to another little Starmate tutorial. Today we are having a look at airlocks. Okay, so for those of you just wanting to have a simple airlock, I suggest you rewatch my doors tutorial, which is the first of the series, and then you just hook up uh, the second one, which like opens from both sides, like that. And the other one, which opens manually from one side into a tube, like so. So this is the door. I have to open it manually from outside. Then I go in and it will open automatically from the inside. And on the way back, it will open automatically. And the moment I walk in through here, it will open automatically and let me out and will release me from the gravity inside. So to turn the gravity on, I have to walk inside. Now you see, I have to jump. And that's it, right? So you use that door and that door behind. And all you have to do then as well is hook up this activation block to this gravity unit. That's it, right? Simple. Works. So for all which just searched a little airlock, this might be the way to go. For everybody else, and this will be a little longer tutorial, this thing here basically is my attempt of creating something foolproof. What it does is, first of all, both doors uh, operate automatically. It will prevent you from opening one door when the other um, is open or was just recently opened. So the system also takes into account it needs some time to repressure the chamber inside and then it will just release you so as long as the thing is green. So let's say the thing is green and I'm just floating in here then gravity gets on and you saw the red light so I couldn't pass through like on the first go I had to wait until the light is green again. Then I can go through the through inner door, right? So this would be inside your ship or station or whatever. If you try walking straight through it, you'll just end up here. You have to wait until it's green. Whoever is interested in that, I'll show you the steps. But to understand, first I will have to show you something. You see this chain of um, activator blocks, the end, activator block, yada yada. So if I activate this, both turn on and off, right? And even though this activation block is hooked up to the gravity unit, nothing will happen. Only the activation module the player interacts with, only this activation module is able to actually trigger gravity. You have to keep that in mind because this is a common misunderstanding that any logic block could trigger those. That is not the case. Only activation blocks the player interacted with or activation blocks hooked up to trigger area controller blocks, like placed next to them, are able to trigger gravity blocks. First of all, to make sure somebody could not like open the door by mistake, we have to make sure that you can't directly interact with the door. We do that by placing these area controller blocks right in front of. Of course you could interact with the door in this corner, see that? But uh, that's more a design issue here. If you would make a rectangle door, this floor would not be present. Now we have this from the outside and the inside. We can safely say the door will only interact by walking through and won't be opened by mistake. Right. So the next thing we do is again we take this activation block and hook it up to the gravity block because we want this old you get into gravity when you enter from the outside and you are released out of gravity when you go to the outside mechanic again because yeah well it you know it adds a little something something to it. Okay yeah let's get rid of these doesn't matter take these Roop. Bloop. So we even saved a few more blocks now, that's cool. Alright, okay, so we don't need this ore there as well. So the first thing we do, we make this, turn this again into our little button logic, right? So we need an end, place that there, we need a delay, place that here, and then from the delay we go into a knot, we are going to place that there, and we activate this twice, 
and we pick the knot, go into the end, and we pick the end and go into the block. All right? Same thing on the other side. We need a knot, and this knot we are going to put there. Six, six, knot. Then this knot will then control our door. Like this. Let's place another knot. Select that and make that control load on. Okay, now um, this knot is not charged, so let's do this manually. Plop. Plop. And now let's walk through it again, right? Where are we? There are my airlocks. Yoohoo! Uh, I'm in gravity. Mm -hmm. Open spin. Okay, I'm free of gravity. I can float. No, I fall. <laughs> okay, get me back there. Why am I falling? Oh, right. I'm falling because I entered through um, this area twice. Um, okay, yeah, so we might be able to leave that here, but we should remove that and add another area controller here. No, no, no. Select this, go loop, add, no, the activation module. Hook that up to an OR. Fine. Select this. Hook that up to this OR as well. And then from the OR we go. And. Delay. Select the delay. Go into a knot. Select the knot. Go no, <laughs> I know why. Not, not. So so net 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 net. Charge it. Okay. Select the knot. Back into the end. Then select the end. And make it reset both of the activation modules. Okay, that should work out better now because only this activation module now triggers the gravity unit. Good, so far. Um, now we hook up this and also to this knot because this knot still controls our door. And now what we need to do, our first attempt now would be to ensure that not both is opened is take this knot and hook it up to that end take this knot and hook it up to that end okay because if one door would open like if that would be on that thing would be off so this end could not get triggered just by this block because not all its sources are on, right? Because this knot would be off. Okay, um, I can't demonstrate it here because I am lacking another person which also could open the door. So we will just, I hopefully you understood that. So now we will just revert these changes because um, what we still want to do is add lights and such right and also we want to have a delay system okay so let's add some lights let's say we want a centralized point to control the lights right so we add this end here and then we hook up both of those knots which basically make sure the doors are shut right to this end now let's see so 
Once this is uh, charged and both are closed, this will have high signal. So we could take this end and route this to all the green lights, right? And what we then still would have to do is add a knot, six, to hook the knot up to all the red lights. Green we can walk through red because the door just opened, so it turned red. Green we can walk through this one as well, okay? So this already is a, let me get out of gravity. So this already is a really nice and most likely hardly to manipulate airlock thing. I still would like to add the element of a delay once one door was opened, just to repressurize, okay? Just, you know, add this little extra realism to the game. So what we are doing is we're just removing those two blocks again. And then we just again set the end and hook those two up, right? And then um, have to look. Okay, so now what we do is we add this delay thing. So I add another end and then I add delay blocks. So this end goes into here. And this goes into another delay block, and this delay block goes into another delay block, and then we go like this delay block into the end, that delay block into the end, that delay block into the end. So only if all of these are on high state, this end block will activate. Okay, let's give that a go. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Now it's high. Okay? So now we take this end and hook those up to those ends to prevent the other door side from opening while this is not ready yet. And then we still need to take care of the lights. So we add another knot, put that there. And now this end we will hook up to the green lights and the knot we will hook up to the red lights. Let's check this beauty out. Green, look, green. Oh, it needs a while, right? Look. And here I can walk through. Now let's see what happens. Hello? See what happens if you just try to walk through? Nothing. I have to wait. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's it. I hope you liked the tutorial. If so, please leave a like. I don't know what to do next time. Maybe you guys come up with some ideas, so please leave them in the comments. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.